sent this Chapin 25 gallon sprayer and ask you my opinion on it make this short video. So here it goes. Here's the pump itself, it's pretty heavy. Diaphragm pump, two and a half gallons per minute. Runs on 12 volts, so this will hook up to the UTV or mower, whatever you're pulling it from behind with one of those standard 12 volt battery hookups. And this here is the spray boom kit, which is an accessory that in this version is included. And here's your trailering kit. You get everything to put a set of wheels under it, brackets, uh, sh connecting shaft going across. It's gonna look like this when we get it all put together. Instruction manual and all the mounting hardware and quick release pins that you need for towing. Go ahead and prime the system so we can start spraying. Gonna set our mix valve to zero. Gonna set the um, selector here to spot so we can use the wand. Gonna adjust the bypass here to the prime setting and then turn the system on. Now this does take quite a while to prime, but you can see water starting to flow through this clear line here. Once we get it, pulled all the way through and we get prime, it's gonna start pushing water out of our um, spray wand here just a moment. One thing I noticed was that my fitting here, I did not have it seated good enough. So there was some air leakage here when it was trying to draw prime. And that's why it took a little longer for me to get the prime to work. Uh, I had to push this back in uh, make a nice good seal with that rubber o-ring in there and then lock it in place with this piece here on the front So you're going to want to be uh, conscious of that make sure that both of these are sealed the way they're designed to be and then you see that you start to get flow through the uh, wand Now that pressure is built up in the system and you can adjust the flow here using this this dial so that way you won't have issues where it's constantly cycling the pump. So now that I've got my water mixed, my solution that I'm going to disperse in the separate tank all sitting there, I'm gonna determine what setting to use on the mixing valve here for my particular type of chemical. And in mine, my case, it wants to use one ounce per gallon. So I'm gonna adjust this setting here to show in this window the number one.
give you a look at how these sprayers do, how much coverage you get. We're coming out to about four feet on each side with the spray and it's spraying back probably about the same about four feet back from the boom so depending on how fast you're moving you'll be able to put it down a little thicker but super comprehensive you can just see that these spray nozzles are engineered for the right amount of coverage because this is all soaking wet and that was just running for about five six seconds so yeah you got to keep in mind you got about four feet on each side when you're when you're rolling i am really happy with this sprayer i got a lot done very quickly it's very easy to use keeps it simple by keeping the chemical mix separate from the water tank i really like that feature i like the fact that i've got the spray wand and the boom and the boom has really good coverage so it, it went fast you know i did this whole area here in just a matter of like 15 minutes so this is definitely something that's going to really revolutionize how I take care of this turf grass. I really would recommend it. It's a great package. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. Hope this information is useful to you. And as always, hope you have a great day.